German storm chaser Ansgar Berling and his friends travel to the United States regularly to observe extreme weather phenomena like tornadoes. It's their hobby. They come equipped with cameras and tripods. Their trophies are spectacular pictures. Ten years ago, Germany's storm chasers got together and founded an association called Skywarn. An important resource for them is dependable radar data. We get it from the meteorological services. In particular, from Germany's weather service. Doppler radar data tells us where precipitation is falling in Germany at the time. Here the storm chasers determine that the situation looks dangerous with massive precipitation that might include hail. They say it's time to head out. The storm chasers of Skywarn are out to experience nature firsthand. And while they're at it, they're supplying vital information for storm warnings. The German and other meteorological services get measurements from remote sensing, satellites, Doppler radar and gauging stations. But they themselves can't see what's going on. And that's where the Skywarn spotters come in. We describe ourselves as the eye of the storm. We can look at the storm cell and see what's happening. We can see hail falling or a funnel cloud developing and watch it touch the ground and wreak destruction. Instruments can't do that as fast and pass the information on to weather services. That looks dangerous. To be on the safe side, we ought to make a report. You can see there's sheets of hail falling, and they're heading straight for us. They report hailstones two centimeters thick to the German Meteorological Service. This time the storm chasers send out a warning, and the weather service sends the warning onto the public. Our workstation graphic instruments show activity right on the spot where the Skywarner made that report. This kind of eyewitness report by trained observers like the Skywarners help us find out the details. With hail, for example, how big are the hailstones? Is there already a ground cover? Our other data don't show us things like that, and we can't see tornadoes at all. Germany has 40 to 60 tornadoes per year. The US has up to a thousand. Many casualties here are avoided thanks to warnings from the volunteer weather observers. In America, of course, the potential danger is much greater. There's the Tornado Alley in and around Oklahoma, and it's really a matter of saving human lives. 80 sky warners are active in Germany. Extreme weather is their hobby, a hobby the weather services can use to good effect.